The first place we're going to visit today is Kwangjang Market. There are two ways to arrive at Kwangjang Market. One way consists in taking subway line number 2 or number 5 to arrive at Ojiro 4 gas station and take exit number 4. And the other one is taking subway line number 1 to arrive at Dongno 5 gas station and exit number 7. Today we took line number 2 and exit number 4. If you take this way, you can find the entrance for the clothing stores in Kwangjang Market, as you can see. Actually, Kwangjang Market is not just famous for street food, but also well known for second-hand clothing stores. From this entrance, you can easily find many stores where they sell Korean traditional clothes as well. Also, you can borrow these clothes in some stores here if you plan to visit Gyeongbokgung and take pictures. It can be a good option to prepare Korean traditional clothes. Now let's talk about food in Gwangjang Market. There are three kinds of food that you have to try. The first one is the so-called dried kimbap. It is a special kimbap that includes a simple ingredient like pickled radish with wasabi. As most people reorder this food after they try it, it is called dried kimbap. The second food is Korean-style roe beef, yukre. Normally, people have this with a slice of pear and yolk. With those ingredients, you may feel various tastes at the same time when you try it. Some people order yukre with sliced raw octopus, but most foreigners are afraid of trying this. If you want to have a special experience, we recommend you to order it. The last dish is mung bean pancake called noktujon. It is basically made of milk beans and some vegetables like carrots. Normally, they fried it over twice so it's crispy but also a bit queasy. So people commonly have this with Korean traditional alcohol, makkoli. We think it is the best place to have dinner here after looking around downtown. Now let's visit the second market. Gyeongdong Market is a market that can stand for Korean traditional market. It is located in the middle of Chongyangni Station and Jaegidong Station. So you have to take subway line number 1 to arrive here and take exit number 1 from Dongyangni Station and exit number 2 from Jaegidong Station. The market is divided into sections including seafood, vegetables, fruits and medicinal herb. As it is famous for medicinal herbs, people, especially old people, commonly visit here to buy some herbs. In the middle of the market, there are some restaurants you can visit and eat at. However, mostly the whole market is selling products even on the streets, so we recommend this place to someone who wants to look around Korean traditional market rather than someone who wants to try some street food. The last market we're visiting today is Mangwon Market. To arrive at Mangwon Market, you have to take subway line number 6 and exit number 2 from Mangwon Station. This market feels like a mixed version of both Gwangjang Market and Gyeongdong Market. You can experience some street foods such as croquette, tteokbokki, tteokbal, which are pig's feet, and taekangjong, for example. Also, you can find some stores that sell Korean food ingredients such as seafood and vegetables. The most unique street food is marshmallow ice cream. As the shape of the ice cream is so special and beautiful, people like to take a picture with this food. 
And one of the famous foods here is handmade chopped noodles, called kalkuksu. We guarantee you that the soup of this food, which is made of seafood, tastes so good and it only costs about $4, so we strongly recommend you to try this. To sum up, this is the place where you can try street foods and have meals while looking around the market, so we recommend you to visit here in the afternoon. Finally, just like Sungsu area, there are some bakeries and cafes nearby Mangwon Market. So if you want to take a rest for a while, you can visit there and drink some coffee. Thanks for watching.